Government buildings and something towards the back. Though. Yeah. And we need to review the transfer station. And the review. Calling. Yes. So the photo three were government buildings, sanitation, and the IT. All right. So back to. Uh, change any figures for that, okay. you know, but I did add some notes here okay. um, so we can calculate it. So based on what you found out for mileage, in 2017 there were 71 halls. Mm -hmm. um, 2018 year to date, mm -hmm. there are 29 halls, but I'm not completely confident in that number because of the shipyard debacle. Right. So just to say that out loud. Um, so we need to figure out hauling for municipal solid waste. Um, hauling, recycling hauling is separate, right. but the rate is the same, okay. which is um, $225 a load. But a note about recycling, you know, that, that's, that rate works for hauling and um, it works for demo and MSW and it works for whatever else goes to Rochester, or right now, single stream is going to Portland, and it's covered in the 225. But um, for some of the things that we will be hauling, I don't know that 225 is going to stand. So if we can take the pieces one at a time. Yes. Changed. She had um, $66 in here for the current rate, but we're paying currently $65, and next year it goes to $66 a ton. Okay. So I changed that. Okay. Okay. So with that calculator then? So um, the $4.50 
43 was just based, you can see on top, by the rate, right. or what she thought was the rate, and the number of tons she projected. Right. So the question is, given what we know about 17 tonnage right. and 18 year to date tonnage, mm -hmm. and we know we're moving away from single stream, right. um, even though recycling for the most part, except for glass, is lightweight, um, it does add to bulk, which is hauling. So we can get, you know, that's separate. But right. um, what do we want to project for 19 for tonnage? <coughs> so year to date, we're at 484. Right? 484. So that's for three quarters worth of billing. So it would be, I projected it to be approximately 645 tons um, okay. for the current year if we continue at the current rate. Well, no, I would think it would probably go up. Well, because single, so anecdotally, we believe that more people recycled when we went to single stream because it was more, more convenient. So. So if we say it goes up. So we can do 657 um, and multiply it by next year's rate and you get about the same because that's what she projected it out for this current year. So. I think people will still recycle glass because that's more obvious when you throw it into the trash compactor that it makes no sense. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think plastics might end up in there. So that would affect hauling. Not a lot really with tonnage because it's not heavy, right. but um, how many trips we're making. Right. So we're oh, Well, right. So, so those are that's that's a previous note that I just kept there. Right. Currently, if you look underneath that, we're paying two twenty five right. to haul. Mm -hmm. To Rochester. So we have seventy one hauls mm -hmm. in seventeen, mm -hmm. and we have kind of incomplete information about eighteen. So if you take 18, if you take 17 and increase it 2%, then, you know, theoretically that matches the, the idea with the tipping. The only, you know, potential kerfuffle with that is that it's, it's you know, you, you reach a certain threshold before it's a whole other haul as opposed to. Right. So for recycling, you pay to haul it and to... So, so here's the thing. Well, let's, let's, um, no, okay. no, it depends on the, it depends on the item. Okay. So, um, it depends on the item and I have a rate sheet for that. So we'll talk about recycling because that's a whole other bag of worms, but. Okay. Oh, I see. So this is hauling <coughs> MSW. Yes. Okay. Well, and demo. I should. Yeah. So that 71 number is combined. They assume demo is a separate um, truck or separate. It is a separate truck. It's the same. <coughs> okay. Currently, our current contract um, brings them 
both to Rochester um, and for the same tipping rate. They didn't used to be the same tipping rate, so life got a lot simpler with it. Same tipping rate as MSW. So if we work with the 71, it comes up at a 2%, and it becomes 72 and a half, which I know there aren't half halls. Um, so it feels like 73 halls. Yeah. This year at 13.2, how was that built? So that's column C, okay. that's the note there. So at that time it was 228 a hall, yep. and she budgeted for 75 halls. Okay. So we were at a lower rate. Actually, that was 17, but in, in 18 it looks like she budgeted for 55 halls going to single stream. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, but she guessed at the hall rate. So our hall rate went. Well, our hall rate's been all over the place, yeah, but yeah. Um, so okay, so all right, so let's look at. It's a little more realistic when we're going to single stream. Yeah. Um. So we all right. So the budget was thirteen two, and we've spent twelve thousand two forty three right. through the third quarter. Through the third quarter. Yep. So. So if you the seventeen budget was. Seventeen thousand six eighty one, which I think is probably more in the and, and they spent eighteen. So what was the calculation? Uh, so yeah, that guy. Um, so that seems a little low, sixteen four twenty five, as compared to. So I'm sure you, and I'm coming into the, the game late here, <clears throat> we went to single stream because that made sense, right? At the time, At the time. yes. And now it doesn't because the, the, that market has... Tanked, yes. Are we yeah. sure that it... I know that we have to budget based on what we know now, but it, the market could come back. Um, the markets change all the time, okay. but it is pretty clear been told that single stream was never a good idea. Oh, okay. So it makes more sense to handle your individual commodities separately. I guess I'm not sure how in 17 that that budget number was what it is. Seventy three halls at two twenty five is what it was sixteen and change. 
That's the 17 and divide that by the 71 and you get so the haul rate was higher it was 255 as opposed to the 240 that was budgeted well actually as opposed to the 228 that was budgeted 17, that's 17. Wasn't the, 17 wasn't the year with the trucking um, I believe who we had issues physically with, with the driver and then with the truck where it was out of commission for a while and they had to, they had to outsource for a while. So that's, I think yes, that's why. Yes, but I don't believe that affected pricing, though. So. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. But for whatever reason, in the 17, she, you know, the budget was 228 a haul right. and it was 255. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm comfortable with. Here's the other, just to yeah. wrench it some more. Um, if fuel prices go up significantly, the haul rate's going to change. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's not locked in. It's so locked in as long as fuel doesn't go so above, I don't know what, okay. but then it's going right. to be a percentage okay. above that. So maybe an even 17,000, I mean, that's not a huge cushion. So. Right. Where do we get the 17 one from here? That's just from uh, that was 75 halls. That's what um, we thought 17 was calculated at. Oh, all right, yeah. So that makes more, that makes more sense. It's the 75 times 228. I need to go back to the, uh, the 17 rate. Or did you say even 17? Well, where, where is the, <laughs> that's what we just have. So the, go back to the worksheet for a second, please. So the 17,100. Okay. Based so off of? How yeah. 17 was calculated. Right. So now we know, like right now, our haul rate's 225, but right. could go up. Right. Um, so if you want to take... 17's actual 71 halls right. and multiply it what you but by what you know the current haul rate to be. Mm -hmm. Then you get 17 should be different. Yeah. Okay. So I would put 17 down to be safe. <coughs> You can pay more for it than trash. Um, so separated out, most things earn income. Um, what doesn't earn income is cheaper than trash. So for example, glass is now $35 a ton as opposed to the $66. Um, and but, but again, these are markets and they can fluctuate. Paper is around $50 a ton. So it depends on how we classify paper and that's going to be a PR thing and a decision we're going to have to make. Um, and it can, we can, you know, so this is transition A. We can work on transition B and C later with public um, right. outreach if, if the board wants to do that. But we can split out more and get better rates for how we 
we split things up. But for now, um, it looks like for just mixed paper, um, we get $50 a ton. So that's the most expensive thing, but glass is the heaviest okay. thing, and that's 35 And everything else is either um, net zero or revenue. So the other things, the plastic, George and company are going to fail that? Yes, and right now you can earn between four cents a pound or pay up to two cents a pound. It's in that okay. range. So it's kind of, so it's a net zero. Do we have any idea of the volumes of each of these items? That's an interesting question, and I met with John Ordway yesterday, mm. who is going to do what we all know we needed to do and haven't had the resources to do. Yep. Um, so I've hooked him up with um, NRA, who is our um, okay. yes organization who knows all about the markets and yep. manages these things for us. And once upon a time, I asked for that information and I never received it. So I ha I'm going to have him, he's going to follow up with that. They're, they know statistically yeah, in single stream what percentage one. is right. what, and they know what our weights are. So What was mixed paper in your time? Um, it's about $50 a ton. So plastic is a net of metal. So metals right now are all income. couple of years we've budgeted around <coughs> like, so 36 or the actual is 36 45 and 32 46 that was at a time was that for single stream yes so would those numbers still be I would say well so yeah. apples and oranges yeah. because when we were doing single stream it started with um, for example, this year when we had Shipyard, our most re recent vendor, doing single stream, it was two ninety five a month, and they would come once a week, mm -hmm. and and it was just two ninety five a month, and then that evolved into thirty dollars a ton in addition to the two ninety five a month. So it was still very much cheaper than throwing it away, yeah. but it's not anything like spreading it a separate. How quickly does Mr. Ordway think he can That's a really good question. Not, it's good, like, I if it's, quick enough. Yeah, not quick enough, but I think he you know, I think he's on it and we should hear from him pretty quickly because he's excited about it. And by the way, he used to design landfills for <laughs> stations. <laughs> and happened to omit that information. I thought that was pretty interesting. So I would expect he'll be pretty quick. I don't know if it's quick enough to inform this conversation. Right. So do we, what do we currently have plugged in for? We have 5,000. Right. So glass, we're going to haul ourselves. Metals, we're going to haul ourselves. Right. It's really for good morning. Um, paper, cardboard, you know, it's, it's going to go down because we're hauling, you know, we're contracting the hauling far less. Do, do we have, um, so I'm, I'm saying George, I know it's not exclusively George, did the rest of the budget reflect the time and gas it's going to take to all this That's stuff? a really good point, gas, will go, you know, fuel is likely to go up. Um, it's all within Ed's time. Okay. Um, so, 
but that's not. We're talking case. about we're in sanitation, talking about recycling. So um, it's within the time that he's working, but it is more wear and tear and fuel. Mm -hmm. it's, so but sure it's otherwise no outside cost. Yeah. But fuel lines are sufficient to cover the cost, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to open up a can of worms, but I right. want to. Um, so that's level funded. You might want to look at that. That's level funded, and you. So you're slated to spend eighty five sixty nine this year, although you know, maybe not exactly because most of that fuel usage is in the winter and we have less winter at the end of the year. Right. So you may be okay for this year, but my guess is you're not gonna be okay with So glass is going to Rochester. Um, but the other side of it is metals are only going to you know, ten sure. minutes away. Right. So, you know, I don't think there's going to be a huge impact. And, and, and it might be every week, right? I mean, Correct. Once a month? Or maybe something like okay. so once a month, or maybe 14 times a year, or something like that. We will haul that, or someone will come pick it up. Someone will come pick it up. Yeah. For it, so we're going to be able to. We yeah, can't so. haul it until we get a tractor trailer load. Oh, up. okay. Which is why storage is a problem. Yep. But we can combine it with cardboard. All right. Do have have. Right. How many times a year do we think that it would actually be, or a month? I don't think it's a month. I think it's. Every few couple months. I would guess. To get that much. I, I don't I don't think even this you know probably quarterly but but again that's a guess. And that will cost two twenty five to haul plus. No oh. no 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 it's getting picked up so well um I don't know is the answer to that. Okay. And how many um do we have uh, historical information from? Is that what John for John is worth? Uh, uh, how many tons we hauled when we did before, when we were separated before? He is not looking into that. He was just looking at this current transition. Okay. Um, I can see if he's willing to well, look at that. Do we have the uh, Do we have that information readily available? No. Um, we could. Well, let me so prior to going to single stream, we hauled X amount of tons of paper. I don't know. X amount of tons of glass or whatever, plastics. It would take some doing. It would take digging in the attic through financials and remembering who that vendor was. Right. But um, it's doable. It's time, but it's doable. The other thing, though, is without doing that, John should be able to tell us what percentage of our single stream is of what components, mm -hmm. and that will t get sure. us to the same okay. place. Yeah. Probably faster. Yeah. 
does, is this uh, an item where we <coughs> budget? Uh, so there'll be, it's not, doesn't work like a reimbursable account. If we're getting income for some items. You could absolutely make it an enterprise fund someday, but currently no. You know, it's an expense, and then there is, off, you know, may or may not be according to the thing, there may be offsetting revenue. So you're you're hauling most things yourself mm -hmm. um, at no greater range than usual, right. unless unless it is financially more feasible to do so once we find out right. what haul rates are for right. deeper. Right. Um, so really, the only thing you don't know is a haul rate for actually plastic too, paper and plastic, um, metals are local. Right. Glass is Rochester, right. and, and we're going to handle those in-house. So, This is still something to talk about. I don't know if it was the board's um, intention to put that in its own Warren article. We have not paid for it at all this year, which was originally the intent to make some payments this year mm -hmm. um, and do the rest next year. That hasn't happened. It may be, it may, we may get a payment or two in this year. I haven't seen an invoice. It's only right. just recently been installed. So. Um, my understanding is that it's fifteen seven. The cost, the total cost. The total cost is fifteen seven. Mm -hmm. If we don't, if we get payments mm -hmm. after the fact and it's too late to change the warrant, we can always have a motion on the floor to reduce the warrant article to be the correct amount. So I would err on the side of caution and put it for the amount that we said we were going to at the beginning, without the payments happening this year. If because if they're not happening, you're going to have to do the fifteen seven, and that's what I would I would aim for that. And like I say, we can always put a motion on the floor that we reduce it with an explanation. Well, so remember, you've got um, deliberative session and default budget. And so we know there actually we'd know that then, wouldn't we? Except that you don't know whether warrant articles are passing yet. Oh, you can't you can't modify a warrant article at the deliberative session. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, you can. So you would know by then, because that's, that's an annual, that's thing is voted on in March. And right, so you can you would know by then if you made a payment in, in Oh, June. I see what you're saying. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So we can change it at the deliberative. But what happens if it doesn't succeed at the poll? <coughs> you need a default budget and you're... You've got to find them. You've got to find them. So why wouldn't there be payments made this year? Well, it's, it's only about the vendor and the vendor okay. deciding to invoice it, us. And he's, he's very flexible. And if we wanted to put off all the payments until next year, I'm sure he would be fine with that. But it also was longer. It was a delay for the delivery as well, right. wasn't it? Yes. So I and think that's that was why the result we, of yes. it as well. So. Right. So we were going to do thir three payments, I believe, this yeah. year. Yeah. Um, but because it only got installed, we haven't been invoiced yet. So I don't know what that invoice is going to look like. But I think we could certainly have a conversation 
and delay it if you all wanted to delay it entirely. The only caveat to that, the only the only thing about that is twelve hundred dollars of it is installation. So he may want the installation. I don't know. But he's he he's been very good and worked with us in the past. I don't think it would be an issue. However, and, you and he was under the assumption that it was if it passed it uh, by voters, right? I mean, he knew that it had to go up as a warnock. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. So I mean. Not like we're backing out. It's the total town is backing out. I was saying, you know, I mean, well, right, it's not the board know. or George or any of them. It's the town, right. In which case, you are paying to uninstall it and paying yeah. sixty five dollars a ton to throw everything away. Yeah, yeah. Plus more hauling. So, so you're, you know, you're going to have operational, you know, just yeah. something to think about. Yeah. But again, if it's if it's something that's going to save us money, we can still do it within the budget that does get passed. Yeah. And right. then highway and, and um, transfer station will have to kind of like figure it out. Yeah. But we if have we to find it. if we spend down the ninety five hundred we have budgeted, or that's the revised budget ninety five hundred. What my um the dark. Oh, okay. So that was a revised amount, okay. but I'm not sure. I, I believe that re that was a revised amount to reflect making those three payments, which never happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. My point is, if you take some of it out of this year and the next year, we don't have to come up with. Why don't we, right? So why don't we ask uh, the vendor to invoice us that amount? And you can or, and, and pay that so that we an article the remainder of much work. Mm -hmm. So so you want you want to pay for the three payments? Is that what well, you're saying? Well, we 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 we. My guess is you can pay for whatever balance you want to pay of it. We revised the budget to reflect uh, 9500 right? So, so this, this 15 7 is the total amount, right? Separate from? Yes, that is total installed. According okay. to the quote, assuming that's in, you know. Okay. Yeah. And with the trade? No, the trade is separate. The trade was income and it's. Oh, it didn't apply to the invoice. No, yeah, it was the income received, received separately. Okay. So, okay, I'm not out of position. Just did it that way. Sorry. And uh, are there other things? Well, yes. I mean, it has a budget of seventeen fifty. With all this aside, um, so it doesn't say repairs, but that's really the line that would handle, you know, if a compactor were having an issue or something like that. Is there any finance charge? Um, what's called loan of the the grant? Yeah. Is there any finance charges to it? It was just in well, I, I don't have an invoice, but I don't believe that was okay. part of the program. So we'll see when we get the invoice. discretion to handle that in either budget. So what do you want to do? Well, the board has the discretion to pay on all the issues budget too if it's there. Mm -hmm. Yes. We do. If we need to look at that. Yeah. I mean, between the highway and the transfer station, you see okay. there's enough money 
money to pay for the whole thing. Yeah, I agree. If we have the discretion to do that, mm -hmm. we can still do this as well, right? Absolutely. And we then, can. then we don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I'm sure that he would not blink an eye to write us an invoice That's knowing what we get paid. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Can we, really, can we look at that and have a meeting? Do you want to come in and meet with me sometime this week and we can um, look at things that I you can? can? I can come Friday. Yep. Are you here Friday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I can come in Thursday night. You're the one that it will be you. I have a meeting potentially Thursday night, but Friday's good. Yeah, you can have Thursday night. Okay. Friday. Is the board okay with um, waiting for that? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. So that was the only other issue in sanitation. Yeah. Right? There wasn't any other issues there. The so the disposal of the metal tires, etc. Plus you said thirty eight hundred, does that go down? Um, that's a good question. So, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Um so tires is still something that we would need to dispose of, mm -hmm. but it's nothing like that figure. Um So we're not re disposing of appliances in the same way. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, I will check with George, but I don't think we're paying for anything that fell in that line. Oh, that's not true. We do pay for um, like televisions and, and those bulky items. So, um, but for sure it will go down. So you've got televisions, the, um, whatever the unit is inside the microwave that, that makes it do what it does. But the microwave itself is now going to be disassembled and scrap metal income. So tires is about $200 a year if it happens. Sometimes it's every other year. Oh. It's not a lot of money. What's a lot of money is computers and televisions. Okay. Dehumidifiers, those things. Mm -hmm. Charge for those things. Yes, mm -hmm. there's offsetting revenue. Does the businesses in town, automotive businesses in town, are they able to dispose their tires there? Um, so that's a really interesting question. So because our contract with waste management dictates that disposing <coughs> will be only residential waste, yeah. um, I believe the ordinance reads that you must be a resident and business owners aren't allowed to get stickers. So that doesn't mean that the board can't make an exception if somebody wanted to, you know, if you wanted to allow Paul's or, or the other one to just come and dump a bunch of tires and pay the 250 I think, is the disposal rate. You could look at that if you wanted to. But, um, well, I was more concerned about us having too many tires yeah. because of the business, yeah, no. not that I no, wanted to encourage them to. Okay. No. okay. But if they were a resident as well as a business owner? Could they? It is supposed to be residential debris. Yeah. Oh, residential. No, but it technically right. can be if it's a residential. Well, so this is there. an interesting question yeah. because we get checks for disposal fees written on business accounts. And so, you know, you can handle your own finances however you want, but is it, you know, you're either lying to us or you're lying to the IRS. <laughs> right, yeah. Probably a little bit of each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. No, but so they're not, they're not currently.
processing of those things that right. have Freon. We were paying for that under that line, which is no longer going to be. Right. You know, so 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 well, you're we will pay be something though, right? You're going to have them. You're going to so, pay for them to come and remove it. Right. Well, no, no, no. They're going to come and process it, which well, is we not very Freon, expensive, right? but yeah. it will come out of that line. Okay. But then you've got scrap and metal income on those items. Yeah. So you've got a lot more offsetting revenue, but yeah. you have to account for the free on disposal on that line as well. Unless you want to create a new line or something. So $800 position to cover all that? I don't know why they're signing that. Oh, what, what is it we're talking about? 3800 $3, Let me look at what the most recent invoice is for those. Cheers and fifty dollars each. He didn't give you a picture of him, did he? No. I really would like to have the blessing of whatever we buy. Just to make sure that Yeah, we're not. Okay, so um Take me a few minutes, but if you want me to, I'll go see how frequently I pay that. So, yeah, it can't be quarterly, right? No, it can't be quarterly. <laughs> it's just a good one. Yeah, that, that would.
it's enough to uh, keep opening things up. But I think I heard Kate say she won't need any more voting booths if we do the election at the Legion because it all worked out with the sit down area. And I don't know if we want to monkey with that again. Which is really more room gave it the opportunity to be more private, is what you're saying. Yes. More, more opportunities that it was, you could go longer. Yep. Um, I mean, the, the booths themselves were often full, but then mm -hmm. there was a stand-up thing and a, a thing with a barrier. Mm -hmm. um, and then she also sent that email that there's a liquidation I sale on morning booths. Yeah, I saw that. So, I, I, like I said, I, I don't, we don't need to I mean, recrash $700. I mean, what is, your, what is your desire for it to be done in Legion? I'm all for it. So according, there was a representative from the Attorney General's office um, that came on Tuesday, and he, I overheard him saying, you need to have four handicapped parking spots. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we can do it here. Um, I think it'd be. Two? There's two on. Two uh, and one? Two on by the, the okay. main door there, right? And there's, I don't know how the two you mean over three here? on the other end. I mean, oh, here, there's, one. here there's one. And then it's two over there by the alligator? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I don't, are they actually marked as handicapped over there? Yeah. By the elevator? Yeah. They are? Okay. On the other side. Okay. Like, what? Okay. All right. But still, I, four. I just think in the whole picture, things are a lot easier. Yeah. And um, For people to be as long as the Legion will commit that they'll allow it. Why was he there? Just that they were going to all the whole spot inspection. Okay. Um, he was looking through the same day registration. I don't know what he was looking at, it, yeah. but just to make sure everything was. There was a, a, a list of um, multi page list of compliance mm -hmm. issues in every, every poll, not just ours. Mm -hmm. He said that their goal was to go to all the polling locations in the state. He had X amount he had to cover, mm -hmm. and now the full board said. Because he was there. there. So there were 1,280 people voted on, um, on election day, which was a, a record for us for, a, for um, a recent number of um, midterm elections. Mm -hmm. We don't come anywhere close to that on um, on um, town elections. So mm -hmm. I don't think we really need to be, I don't think we need to add booths, but if we're going to do it there, I'm going to. The argument is that it's going to be a it is going to be a much longer ballot than people have been used to. That's right. But on both. Right. But you're not you're not going to have the, the, the quantity of um, people coming in and the consistency that they were coming in as they were on the past Tuesday well, on town like day. So you might we will have time. You might want to think about that just because if the school is saying what they're gonna say, you might have a lot of people coming in. Yeah, well, there may well be, but yeah. but what I'm saying it was a, it was steady all day. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe it's going to be steady all day like no. that on a municipal election. But it might be above the average. It's, it you know, well it be. all depends what's on the yeah. you know the ballot or the one article. Yeah. Thinking that we're near the SBC for town size, sure. I don't know what that will do. My suggestion would be we need to go through a, a cycle or two to see. I don't think well, one year isn't going to really give you a, a true, a true, a true a look at what it's going to be. I think we need to go through a couple mm -hmm. of years to see what it means. But he, he clearly did not have a problem with it being done there, right? No. No. Okay. I think we should just try it for the, the next one, too, and see where it goes. Well, they only have one next year, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it better down in Denver, but well, actually, no, I should take that back. I like it better here because it's more convenient for us to do work yeah. during the day. Yeah. But as far as the, the running of an election, I think it's better down there. Mm -hmm. here. Maybe just, just 
defer the purchase until after that election and yeah. see how it goes. And if it goes well, then she doesn't have to buy it. Yep. I don't know. I wouldn't rush to it. All right. I apologize. I had to restart my computer, so I have no information for you. Okay. So let's um, we'll try again. Put that off for, for the moment then. Okay, let's go to, uh, so we already did um, government buildings, we did, the other item was CIP. What's it have? We need to get the revenue. into whether he thinks the insurance, by the way, for uniforms, I know that's not what you're asking for, but yeah. um, he believes it covers loss, because that was one of your questions, but mm -hmm. he doesn't know offhand, so he's checking. Yeah. Um, oh, and he's checking on haul rates. So he is getting a second opinion on um, the GMC, and mm -hmm. that is... Um, at Mick, and yeah. he's, you know, so we have no more information about the GMC, that's still... That was the biggest thing. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if I can print from here, and if I can't print from here, oh, then we're at the mercy of my... said next year, but based on what it just did, I, I you know. Talking about leasing, both of those. So I don't know if those numbers. 
was continuing financing charging for leasing, we would have to verify. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we can modify that to the fact too. I mean, but he thought we'd go with the leasing program just because it was less per year. I'm not. I'm not a fan of leasing. So I think it works for police, but I don't think yeah, it works so for So he gave us. Um, I remember looking through it. These were the these were the outright purchase numbers. Those were 165 okay. and 179. Yep. Okay. Because it was going to be considerably more. Start at the top and we'll move off of trucks for a moment. If you don't mind. 
Let's talk about um, the town hall in Bogart. We were also waiting for Bob is going to check with his word. So we don't know that yet. All right, police department, we do know that um, we have a um, request for the Alcoa Cruiser and for the radar message board. So it's, what is that, 20, is it 20? Two cruisers. Five, we're doing two. Two leases. Two leases, right. So proposing two leases and it must be more of a message here somewhere. So yes, he wants to lease two, but he thought that the um, twenty-five thousand a year. Well, so Denise, you did you update this to be twenty, twenty-five, twenty, twenty-five? Um, because there's twenty again. So there's twenty-five and nineteen, and then I see twenty again for. I didn't update that. I think that was already there. So I believe the twenty-five was the new annual amount that he wanted to designate toward cruisers, and yes. he could. Do he could lease two within that twenty-five? Yeah. Do we need to change them all to twenty-five? All over months, a year. Yep. Okay. So those two, uh, the twenty and twenty-one should be twenty-five. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that was my question. So yeah. within that twenty-five, he should be able to lease the two cruisers. No yes. Problems. Well, it would be twenty-five a year. Right. right. It's going to yep. be a two, it's going to be two-year lease. Is that what it is? I, I think it's a three-year lease. I don't, I don't know the terms of the lease, but yeah. he said that 25 a year, okay. which is what he was doing anyway. Yep. Right. So that covers. Right. We don't, we don't yes. have to worry about that then. Okay. So we should be good at 25? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then he's got his radar message board mobile sign unit. Half of that's going to come from a grant. Mm -hmm. But we have to... Um, Again, that number was there. I didn't put that number right. in, so I'm right. assuming that's correct. So that's not the half; that's the whole. I am assuming. Right. So and we need the Warren article to yes. say the whole yeah. thing was 50. Yeah. Right. 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 So are we are, are we? If we're, we're fine with the cruiser. Are we fine with the message board mm -hmm. with the grant? Keeping that on the. Sure. Okay. So now we get down to the fire department. Yeah. Okay. So 
this number is $45,000 more than reality. Correct. Is that right? So we have three thirty-four. Yes. So you have to take the money out of another project in order right. for that to happen this year. Like for example, you have forty thousand dollars in the Airpax filling station. Mm -hmm. You could move that forty up to portable mm -hmm. radios, yep. and you still have forty-five thousand dollars. You have to take out somewhere, but you can take that out from other lines, depending on. You know, like right now, you've got $154,000 on the top kick, and you can bring that down mm -hmm. some. Right. Even, uh, or 11 on the right. top kick. Right. We're going we're gonna to get something in trades. But if we, if we go forward with it this year, we're going to get something in, in trades with this anyway. So we would take that would be able to come down anyway, mm -hmm. right? So. It's just a question of, um, I'm not sure whether once you go with the lease, it, you know, you, you have to, we have to be careful about how that, this Warren article is written this year, mm -hmm. but after that, I, I think it comes out of operating. I'm not sure that it even stays in there, but I don't know if he's going to want to continue to lease or if that's a way to get the two vehicles that he needs for this year. So that's a bigger conversation. So we could take a, a, at least 10 out of um, air pack filling station that we have saved in the CIP for this year. We were going we to buy it this year and also wait another year and move that into, um, into portable radios, right? So 10 there. I think. And then once we figure out. So we're really $110,000 behind yes. in this because the 65 is out of nowhere. So you have $115,000 worth of things that, you know, the boiler, the radios, and the cruiser, if that's what you're doing, is $115,000. Yep. So it's just about how much of money in column T do you want to attribute to any one of these projects while keeping in mind that you ultimately still need to bring column T down by 45? Mm -hmm. um, so 115 plus the message board, right? All right, so the message board, right. Well, so the mess, all right. And then part of that gets. So the net income, 
11,900 for the message board. So you've got 126,900 with those four items. I'm sorry, say that again, 126,900. 900, sorry, 126,900. Boiler, radios, cruisers, and the message board. So, is this, are you saying that those are the only projects that are going to be done this year? The Th those are the. I'm, I'm only. So, so last time the board wanted the first three items: boiler, radios, cruiser, added up because. is the truck. So, you know, we don't have a net on the truck until you figure out um, trade-in value and how much from the CIP you're putting against mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But as a $65,000 truck, it's a $165,000 okay. truck. So we can have another column and talk about... Um, What's the 2019 at the top? That's not supposed to be, that's it's a year, it's that's a... But it's adding it in. It's, yes, it's a terribly formatted year. And it's not in the sum. Oh, it's not? Okay. No, no. The sum starts in 59, so we're good. The 291.9 is what we are looking at as the possibilities of spending. And we have well, or we could do it this way and um, call you know, those are the twenty nine capital full costs. Yeah. And then we can talk about how um, that has that much for grant going on it. And then you can add your right. CIP you know okay. how much you're gonna put for it. I had a note here to, I, I think this is what George said, it's going into $30,000 in residual value. That's without, I don't know where he's getting that from, but if he was just guessing. guessing. Um, well, let's guess along with him. Yeah. And let's, and let's, um, let's do the low end. Got 
that quote? Or, I don't know. We, I don't know that that's what I should be asking him. Yeah. I will yeah. ask him for her. This isn't a boiler just for the town hall. I mean, it's for the police section. It's just for the whole. Yes. Um, and he might have based that on when he was trying to come up with, with a new police station. He might have a good number there, okay. which would be current number. Sure. You know. Um, but we should ask that question for sure. See, I mean, you have money that's already allocated mm -hmm. toward the truck, and you might decide that it's not as much as it says it is, right. because you have to take some out of column T, but you have a good amount that you could yeah. potentially take. Do we need to move um, 44? Is that right? It's 44,866. So it is, I, I think it's, do you see it printed? Maybe it's not in the scope, sorry. So it's, um, it is on the screen there. So it's 44,866. That we have, that we don't really have. We Correct. Have that you have, you have to decrease column T by that amount. You have 11 in the skid steer. Yeah. You have 154,400 in the highway truck. Mm -hmm. You have 30 in the now in the air pack filling station and mm -hmm. 10 in the radios. Okay. But you have 47,500 in the cruiser. If there's only a cost of $25,000 a year, yeah. putting in $25,000 a year, why can't we reduce yeah. that down? So. So do you want to reduce it down to 25 or do you, and, and pay for it with no impact? Or do you want to reduce it to zero and pay for pay the 25000 through taxation? Like no, I want to leave the 25. You want to leave the 25. You can take the difference off yes. there. Because if we're putting 25 yes. in and you fixed it, right? So we're going to put 25 each year. Right, so now your total to reduce is 22366 Now it's 22366 And so that reality. included ten dollars, ten thousand for um, 
radios from the air pack filling station. You moved that already. Mm -hmm. So that's now an offset. So one of the other things that it's just a tip that it's not going to happen upstairs, at least. Administration building, I don't know if you need to meet the 105 in there, if you can reduce it by that amount. Twenty thousand for the boiler. We're going to spend that. It's still showing at twenty thousand in CIP. 
Well, right, you're, you're exactly right. So um, there's 20,000. So it's all about how you want to do this. It's going to cost $25,000. Mm -hmm. So do you want to raise it completely through taxation, in which case you leave that alone and reduce column T to zero? Okay. Or you can raise 5000 Or you can raise, or we can change the 2019 number to 5000 yeah. if That's you're going to use all of the 20 right. column T. Yeah. Building is not something we're going to be doing this year. I, I don't, I, 2019. Yeah. So it's a space because the other ones that are all in there are really the ones that you're planning on doing something with, mm -hmm. except for the, you haven't made a decision on the highway um, top kick. But I would take the 22 to 366 out of the 105. Yeah, I don't. Just to get us back where we should be. Mm -hmm. And did you get that we needed to reduce that 44,866? Um, okay, so it's a different tab that you don't have oh, okay. there, but here's the CIP balance and how it's calculated. Yeah. So we have last year's balance here in column F, yeah. and we added to that with a Warren article the amount that we designated to put in that fund, yeah. and then we're subtracting the amount of the Warren articles that passed. Okay. Um, which is really going to be column D that I haven't filled in yet, which okay. is how much did we actually spend for each of those items. Okay. So yeah. right now the 334 is approximate, given that we paid exactly these amounts for those items, but we know we did not pay exactly those. So um, these should be actual numbers, and that's going to make that go up very slightly, and then we're going to have to play with column T again. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is 18, you haven't got those... Those numbers in here. Well, yeah, I, I just need to okay. put those numbers in there. Yeah. Sorry. So that covers what we're planning to spend. No, no, no. That, that was all in the past. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. we have to create another whole block yep. here for next year. For okay. next year. Mm -hmm. Which is going to, so the amount to put in CIP, if you want to think about it this way, is the total column I, which mm -hmm. is right now that, which is not going to end up being that, you know, because you're not necessarily going to put $35,000 on a new truck. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But that's how this all plays together. Mm -hmm. So each year that you see on here, the projected amount that you should be putting in. Based on what we're planning. On what? That's why we need to fill in all of the spaces because yes. right now that's not really a good number. Right, exactly. Because you know, for all of these things that you're not going to purchase this year, this number is still informed by how much are you going to put away for those mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. But also the ones that don't have any numbers in there right. to plan on the year that they want it. Well, right, those because numbers, those numbers aren't either. If you're looking at a five year Look right, and that's the, yes, yeah, right. exactly. So if you look at the totals, yeah. the idea is to keep the total line relatively flat from year to year. Yeah, yeah. 
um, which means that you play with when you're going to purchase things, right. but also how much you're putting away and when you're going to start putting away, yes. so that you can make that as flat as possible. That was the goal. Yep. So, by the way, um, mm -hmm. if you look at the screen, because I reduced, um, not because of anything actually, um, given that you have currently 154.4 set aside for the truck, yeah. um, you can reduce this amount here for 19 by the $30,000. So, if you keep the 154 the same, then it's going to cost you $5,600 out of In taxation 19. to purchase the vehicle. Or less, if, depending on the trade. The trade in. Yeah, right. and actually the actual purchase price as well. Or, we're well, and it, it depends on how you handle it. You could pay $5,600 for <coughs> the truck and just put trade in, and well, that, that would be. You could, reduce, you could reduce what you remove from CIP and reallocate it. You can. Um, the tricky thing is wording the warrant article. Well, yeah, but the problem is you're going to know it. Yeah. You're not going to know the dollar amount, unless you get like Mick to commit to wanting to give you that much money for it. Or you can put the vehicle out to bid and, and purchase it for $5,600, and then you have offsetting revenue of whatever that's going to be that you can guess in the revenue side of the mm -hmm. budget separately. Which might be the cleaner way to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to change that number to 5,600 just so that we're not, just so that we still equal the total right. in the end. What about the other um, what about the other um, So like right now you have $20,000 set away for the highway truck that you picked from, that, that was what you call the trade-in value. Mm -hmm. right. So um, if you're going to do that, then theoretically you want to reduce column T by $20,000 if you're still going to raise $5,600 through taxation, right. or 20000 minus the fifty six. Dollars, mm -hmm. unless you pay full freight for the truck and get you know sell it through bid later right. and call it revenue. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's indeed. So, if we didn't make any other adjustments. CIP via a Warren article, assuming, I mean, it, it means that you're agreeing to put <coughs> 22 this year away for a backhoe replacement, right. and you're going to buy the truck with $5,600 worth of taxation, right. and that you are going to either put away that much money or spend that much money to right. purchase those items. Right. So it's a combination of what we're spending this year and what we want to save. Yes, it's, that's what I'm trying to say. Right, so you're not putting any, anything that's a zero, you're not putting any money away for that this year. Mm -hmm. And it's represented in other years. Yeah. Right here. But there's some things that haven't been looked at at all. So you better mm -hmm. yeah. keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of it's like the paving project. You know, they don't even start until well, the other year was the 2022, they just put in every car of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not paid for. But also, 
that by uh, air compressors, mm -hmm. the um, upgrade to security, mm -hmm. they don't have any dollars or any amount put away, mm -hmm. generator. Really targeted 19. Right. I mean, the other thing 
to think about it, like visually, as you're looking at this, um, the spots that you have are um, the random gray spots, mm -hmm. which are green on the screen, are target years for purchase. So they should match, and that needs to get revised as well. It should match whatever in column H for a target year. Okay. of it looks like for this year, um, I would assume, or I know it's dangerous to do so, that in 2020, that 20,000 would probably really be 10 or 12, you know, something like that. Something like that. Okay. So that I'm less concerned about. So but if you want, we can put that like in parentheses um, here with the name. Yeah. And then um, we can like reduce that to 10 for, for knowing how much we're actually going to be raising at the time. And then you can split like, you know, 5 and 19 and 5 and 20. Or you can plan to raise the whole amount of money because you want to do it even if there's no grant eventually. So it says here 2020, so right. my suggestion would be to do that. Yeah. Right. And then it's unless, or you can put some of it away now for that, but at least to move the color, right. you know, and the That's intent the target, yeah. over it, yeah, to 2020. suggestion. Sure. Decide whether or not you want to purchase the truck, and then if so, decide how much you want to keep in column T. Either way, figure out what you want in column T for the truck, mm -hmm. and then that will inform, you know, if you don't want to spend so much, you know, out of CIP for the truck, then you can reallocate whatever right. you, you know, Negative 30 on the truck. What's that negative 30? I, I fixed that. If you look at the sheet now, it's $5,600 in column for the 2019 column. Yours has $35,600. Oh. Okay. 
So that column I with, with the current year allocation um, plus what's in CIP equals the total amount for the project, although that's, yeah, so, um, so 65, so it actually needs to be 10 to do it, um, 10, 600 to do it. But that, yeah, I'm not sure. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I see how it's not working. 32, S3, 30, S3U, 3U. Oh, future. Because, well. So the price is 165. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this sheet to do what I. Of, I'm not sure what all those different components are from. Right. And then the 32. Oh, all right. So let's do. Uh -huh. There you go. That's where it is. And so now the future is zero, and you've got 165. So that brings that number to 201.
because we're not going to bring the truck to the shooter. Well, in my mind. He says, hopefully he can have something next week. Yeah. You know, um, but... I'm not sure I know what we mean for the police and fire. Yeah, please. One other. I can't remember who. Um, so they're not on the, they're not in November. So we do have another week to two max. Yep. And we're not meeting, we're not meeting on Monday. It's a holiday. Oh, we're not meeting on Monday? on 
the schedule that we can, we should be talking about that um, we haven't talked about yet this morning. I don't want just to sit here. Well, so if so, then if you want to talk about more stuff with CIP, you have column A as it's uh, column I as it's currently calculated with whatever you're going to raise by taxation at two hundred and one thousand um, dollars. Twenty twenty is one hundred and twenty five. So I would suggest that you look at the other items and the years in which you're planning to potentially replace them and reallocate funding for them. Because what's the goal so they, every year? What is the dollar amount you want to put aside every so year? So this year it was set 178. The goal is not about how much as much as it is stability. To, to stability. Right, right. Yes. so that's my, I guess that was trying, what I was trying to say is what is it that we want to say we're going to put in CIP every year and then that basis on what to do for the year right. in which you're going to purchase it. But that it. also has to equal over time the amount that it costs purchase the whatever it is. Right. And the delay of that purchase may well, go up right. higher. Right, so, so you've yeah, got to go both ways yeah. with it. Yeah, but you know, I mean, we're not we're not too far off and you look at the bottom, there's a couple of higher months, but yeah. five years, but um, you know, it, it's ranging about you know, in the 200s. I don't right. know if that's but what like, our goal is. So like 2024 is kind of a heavy yeah, year comparatively, yeah. so you can spread that out a little bit mm -hmm. by Putting some more money in 2020. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Because you've got $60,000 for the international. So here's the other thing, um, which may inform your decision about the, the top kick, is that the other one is slated for 2025. So you know, you don't necessarily want to be buying, I have all your trucks at the same age. Right. Yeah. Um, so that aside, you've got, you're going to, you've got 70500 in 2025 for the international, to replace the international. And you've got 60 before that and 40, but you don't, you're not saving at all for 2020. So mm -hmm. you can shift some of that. Shift it, yeah. Like you can make, you know, 2025, $60,000 in level with 2024, mm -hmm. and put that extra 10.5 into 2020. So, so it, yes, because, you know, I took it out of 2025, yep. the purchase year, but then we can, so we looking that at that, 50 and you can take like 10 out of, 10 or 15 out of the 2024 and move it left. Some number of representatives. If, if, if the articulator loader is something they really want, mm -hmm. there, should, there should be a number up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Um, so. So it is in there. This. If it added up at the end, you're going to gross capital. Yep. So that's the total cost. So, for example, if we did twenty thousand this year and sixty thousand next year for that piece of equipment, um, I, I, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. So, put it all next year. Um, this is this assumes that it's something we really need. Right. Right. to your 19, though. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. The goal was to uh, be able to reduce 19 if yeah. possible. So what if we put it all in 2020 instead of 40 and 40? Or 2021, and we'll push out even another year. Yeah. Yep. I mean, 
re remembering that that will then complicate things down on the transfer station for the bulk cash. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I know you said something that the bulk cash is going to be used more than, but I know it's my understanding that the articulator loader will do majority of the work of bulk cash well, more efficiently. <coughs> so what if you don't replace the, the bobcat, bobcat and you just get the articulated well, lower? Well, that's, yeah, that's not, I guess I didn't say it right earlier, but, you know, I, I that was my understanding that that was going to be... That, that the, bug, the that current was, bobcat would just be used... To, it's going to be used to, 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 to move right. like a bale or stuff to mm -hmm. a location and, and that, that kind of stuff. But I thought, you know, what it's used for now, it, it, I don't think it's going to go away until it dies. To be honest with you, so they'll have two two pieces of equipment, but I think it was going to this was going to be a more efficient way. The loader was going to be a more efficient way because it was smaller, and it was going to be able to do sidewalks and yeah. a lot of other things, a lot of other projects that they do at the transfer station would be used for that as well. So would you want to take the eleven thousand dollars that you have allocated for the skid steer and put it up in the loader? Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. Um, in which case we can reduce this total somehow by 11. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I would take it out of 19. No, it's, it is good. I hope it's any fuzzier because I'm. <laughs> so that completely levels out. Can't see it either way with or without my glasses. So. so yes. So now you're really light in 2021, but you know, you still have a lot of zeros. You still right. have a lot of things are not. Yeah. We do. We really need to. Maybe we can work on that on the bottom side too. I, I have it, and I yeah. need to know to do that. Yeah. So maybe we can have a better picture of it the next time we meet. Change what the 
street lights look like. Mm -hmm. that, and they called and there was a cosmetic that they were claiming, you know, mm -hmm. which is totally for safety. You know, it was designed with bricks. Mm -hmm. It looked fancy. And there were old ones that were there, but they, the state is really much aware that it caused them as much more missing costs than they got it off. So. Mm -hmm. You can also sure choose to remove them. Like, you can not really? have them in certain locations. Yeah. Is there... Like the complaints come on that. <laughs> um, any yeah. kind of grant that we could look into? I mean, well, I believe that's included in the ROI of oh, two okay. to two and a half years. So it would be part of... We would have to put an RFP out there and find out how much it costs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But do you think we should start to put away for it? Because I think that's something that we absolutely need to do. Mm -hmm. Just, it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So do, but I wouldn't start before 2020. Right. I don't know that you're not going to pull money aside for, um, right. I really would like to get this 200 or 201 now. Or where is it now? It is 201. 201. Is it 201 again? Yes. So we land it back again. Yes. To, um, it's not going to go to be right at 178 like we had for last year, but I'd like to get a lot closer than it is now. Possible. Maybe it isn't possible. So, look, you might. All right. So, um, what about the back hole? Just um, even though you know you just you just said it that you're not going to get it down to 178, but um, if you can slowly trajectory it up toward what would eventually be level, given that yeah. if you look in column X, the very far right column on the bottom, that's the total of the listed capital items. Mm -hmm. That is the total value if you were to replace everything. Very so funny. in theory, mm -hmm. all that money has to be totaled somewhere right. in the rest of the sheet at some right. point. Right. Right. Yeah, I would, I would recommend taking that 2,222, put it on the, put it in 2,028. Can you say that again? On the um, back hole replacement. The 2,222. Move that to year 2,027. And do nothing there. And 19. And well, on the other end. So that reduces the 19. So hold the phone. Oh, oh. So that's the Volvo, right? Okay. Yes. Which is 110. Okay. So you want to take the. Two, 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 and put it in 27. 28. 28. Okay. There, there's nothing in 28. So it just goes another year. Not gonna happen from now to then. The 2022 to 2028, but the back oh, right here, we just moved, just moved it down the other end, and that brings you down under 200,000. What is it? No, I can't remember the number. I can't read it. For what? I'm sorry. What's this year? Oh, I'm sorry. It's 199 for <laughs> Reduce the amount we're saving for the town administration building. Yeah. Well, so hold the phone for a minute here. Um, town Hall Boiler, you have $25,000 in it for this year. Mm -hmm. um, but it's only supposed to, so you have $20,000 in CIP for it. Mm -hmm. So it really ought to only be five. five. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's what didn't make sense to me before. But that's okay, I'm sorry. Sense. I just, I'm, 
Well, because we're saving for it and. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, all right. So. so some of those numbers represent what we're saving for and what we're actually paying out. Yeah. Some are, yes. This this is really at least That's why I'm this, there's a savings account and a spending account. Yeah, it's, it's a lot going yes. on at the yeah. same mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so, so you your total, we're... 179,400. Look at that. That's... Okay. That is Let's good. Let's go. Well, we'll <laughs> that one I can, uh, <laughs> I, can, I can live with 179 versus. offsetting, you know, you've got 303 slated for purchases, and you're putting away 179, but not all of that 179 is paying for these items. Some of it, of course, is going into savings, as you mm -hmm. have allocated above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the boiler, I think we saw the boiler has, if you don't change anything, has $5,000 set, set aside that you have to, so it has 20 in there. You need to raise five, sorry, how about that? In other words, you're raising just five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the cruiser, you have 25 in there. You're raising that. If you keep things the way you are. Mm -hmm. So the net is 216. Because column T does not equal what you think you're going to purchase. I have to think about that for a minute. Because you're going to get a grant for right. some of mm -hmm. yeah, right. but, yeah, but the highway truck. So, that does, so you don't have that as 154 in there. You have just the trade-in value. Right. So if you put the 154 for and decide that you'll sell it through bid, 
you've got 80, that makes more sense. You've got 82.5 of the 179. But they're separate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mostly because of the fuzziness, it's not the, uh, yeah. it's not the, um, the current thing we're all out, it's mostly just uh, looking at the screen to keep things fuzzy. I'll see if um, the, the monitors and computer came in, so I'll ask Tom while he's here if he can look at this and fix resolution. It's wonderful. Can we have another copy of what the change was made today? Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah. I can okay. Do Thank you. Um, so, what is left that has to be um, discussed before budget? Revenue. Revenues. Okay. And, and the IP and revenues are a lot. Everything else is uh, it's good to move forward. So when will we know of revenues? So Revenues is going to require meeting. I can print off what we've received year to date. We mm -hmm. can look at previous projected revenues mm -hmm. and sit and meet and talk about what compiles each of the categories. Right. Okay. How long would we like to do this? If I'm gone. Treasurer? Yep. 
I, I'm speaking as a treasurer. There's an issue here of a tax anticipation note okay. that we need to discuss at some point. Okay, well, yeah. And it's time is maybe of the essence. So is there any time I can get together with the board and explain both the history and the procedure? Sure. Not that the your schedules on, aren't busy enough, you know. Uh, come to the meeting on, uh, on the 19th. Does it need to be before that? You may need to meet before that. <laughs> Can the the tax bills go out on Friday? Yes. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. So we have an issue the uh, TAN in recent memory. So we never had one. So what why would we? I don't know. Oh, it's a tax anticipation note. Cash flow. It's a loan against a loan anticipated against when you get your tax money in. Is what you're saying? Exactly. Oh, okay. Well, you're going on there, sweetie. Mm -hmm. it, is it have it has to have a board decision, or it's just a discussion? Well, I, I need to. There's several things the board has to do, and then there's a couple of things I have to do, and it's sort of like we have to divvy. We have to know what we're going to do, and then we have to divvy up the assignments. When did the tax bill go It was around the same time. Because we always have this conversation about Veterans Day and where Veterans Day falls in the office about it. So it's approximately the same time. Oh, yeah, they're supposed to go out the first, not. Correct. Oh, I was going to say it's late, get but we are late. If you get on time, yeah. then yeah. you send them out on the first, yes. Got it. So they have it by December 1st. So they're due December 1st. Got yes. it. So now they're not due until whatever that 30 uh, yeah. days from there. Yeah. When the big thing. Yeah. Got it. Can we meet, so you and I, Denise, and then Mike, we can call you in just a meeting for just this purpose one day? Yeah, if Caroline can come to the table now. Yeah. No, one day. Yeah. And, and just put a note there. Yeah, if, no, if I mean, if it's something that urgency. we can do at least discuss what needs to be done, and then we can talk to Mike and discuss, if you're okay with that, Mike. Yeah, I'm just wondering why this year is different than last year, or the year before last. That? I can explain it, but not now. Okay. You all want to set a meeting next sometime next week? You can. Can't tell me it's Wednesday. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, you can. I'm just wondering why the sky is falling this year. Well, we have never had an issue with that in this very year before. That's all. There's always cash flow issues at the time of the year. So, but if you Change all want to meet, you are more than welcome to meet. To discuss it. Tell me when to be here. What, what so, I'm, I think I'm pretty flexible on the next week. We have plans for Tuesday. So I'll already be here. Half an hour? Maybe 45 minutes if you have a lot of questions. Sure. Which is at 7, so 6.30 6 on Tuesday. That's not okay. Is it coming Tuesday? Awesome. I'm done. Let me put that in my calendar.